In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace certain parts inside a Club Car Power Drive 3 charger. Um, I'm going to show you how to replace the circuit breaker, how to replace the fuse, how to replace the meter, and how to replace the heat sinks. That's pretty much everything inside the uh, charger, other than the transformer, which very rarely needs replacing. If it comes to that, just throw it away and buy a new charger. So let's get started. Okay, first of all, this is the Power Drive 3 charger. This is Power Drive 3 up there. There's more than one model. This particular one is, you can see it there. Let me blow it up. 26580. It's a 13 amp output. So that's this Power Drive 3 charger. When you unscrew everything and open it up, let's see, I got two more screws to go. Okay, then you take the lid off. Make sure this thing's unplugged. As you can see, our cords are all wound up. This is what it looks like on the inside before I get started. There's your meter. Big thing here is a transformer. Back here is the fuse. Let me get a better look kind of here if you can. Oh, it's hard to see. Fuse. The two heat sinks. Here's one. Here's one. Over here a little farther. There's the back of the circuit breaker. There's two different types. That's the back of that. Oh boy, this one has a relay board in it, a circuit board. This is the relay, but it actually has a circuit board. Okay, so that's the parts inside of here. Now, I'm going to show you how to replace each part in case you're going to be uh, do it yourself or do this yourself. Okay, I have taken this Power Drive 3 charger and actually partway gutted it. I took the transformer out to make it easier for you to see when my big hands get in the way to replace these parts. So the very first thing I want to show you how to replace this circuit breaker. It's a snap-in. You slide it in from the back. So all you have to do is get a pair of needle nose pliers, squeeze it right here and push, and it should come out. Let's see if I can do this. You, you just... Once you get it, you that's it. it. Snaps out from the back. You pull the two wires off. Let me get down here. You put the two wires on the new one. Bam! You slap it back in there. Now this is actually the the majority of the Power Drive threes have this type of uh, circuit breaker in them. All the earlier power drive chargers had this type of circuit breaker in there. You can use either one. Um, they're both 15 amp. This one, same thing, two wires. And the same hole, you could just take this and slam it in there somehow. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I got it upside down. Anyway, that's you, you just slide this thing in there. Snaps in. You pull it back out. This one goes in from the front. This one goes in from the back. I'm going to show you. I'm going to put it back. You just line it up in the hole. Get Mr. Magoo in here to see. Oh, those go on the side. Like this. Okay, you just line it up. Boom, it's in. That's as easy as it is to replace the circuit breaker. Next, this, if you have to replace the, uh, the relay board, you need a Phillips head screwdriver for these two screws in the front. I've already loosened them, so you pull these two screws out, and this whole assembly comes out the back. See? You unhook the wires, you push them onto your new circuit board assembly, these are the standoffs. You just put it back there. 
put your two screws back in and tighten them down. Again, everything is unplugged. You don't have, ever work on this with it plugged into the cart or the wall. So that's how you replace this. The meter, very easy. Same type of principle. If you look, it's got these, uh, it's just a force fit. You squeeze in on these little sides and the meter starts falling out. See? Then you can get in there with something and push these other ones down. See how it's coming out? Look from the top. There. Oops, stop back in. Anyway, you just you just get a screwdriver or in this case I'm using this to just push these things out. Pops right out. There's the meter, two wires. You're gonna replace it. You just take this, you stick it in the bottom first, slide it up and push. Go to the back, hook the two wires back on that you took off. That's simple. That is so simple. Next, if we go to this fuse, let me adjust the camera a little bit. This is the fuse. And it's a force fit into this little, this, see how they got an extra piece of metal right here? This is where the fuse just force fits in from the back. So I'm going to put my fingers in the front and push. That's how you get it out. Probably going to mess this up, but there's the fuse. The two wires to it. Do not use power tools for these. This is plastic. The screw is just, the head of it is just the solder. So if you really crank on this, it's going to break that solder joint loose and your fuse is going to be no good. But you push it out from there, you put the two wires back on it, you line it up in that little hole and you push it back in. Snaps in, now you replace the fuse. That leaves these two heat sinks. This one and this one. For removing those, you do them one at a time. Get over here, maybe. One at a time. These wires out of the way. And what I do, I leave the wires on them. There's two screws. Here's one and here's one. And on the back side, usually it's a Phillips head screwdriver. This one, for some reason, they used a hex head with a slot. So you can use a straight screwdriver or a bit if you have that. And reach in with your with needle nose pliers and just hold the nut so you can see it just grab the nut and hold it while you remove the screw out the back you do that on the bottom then you got this thing floating then you just take the wires off and put them back on the posts of the new one you put on the back of this you smear the packet of thermal paste you smear it all on the back As a matter of fact if you look real close you can see this one where it's all smeared see how that white stuff up against the uh this is it stuff never dries let's see yeah see anyway that helps dissipate the heat but that's all there is to replacing that two screws put the wires back where they are there we have covered replacing every single item in this except for the cords those are very easy this is the 110 cord Back there, again, force fit. You get in there with your pair of pliers. Move the screen wire out of the way. And you just push down on this and that pops out. You can replace that cord. Same thing with the DC cord. So that's it, how to replace everything in this charger and pretty much a lot of these parts are the same and all these power drive chargers, circuit breaker, same, replace it the same way. Meters the same. Pretty much everything is the same other than some have the rectifier instead of the heat sink. And some of them have a regular relay. 
instead of this uh, relay board. So hopefully that helped. Okay, that's the uh, Power Drive 3 charger parts replacement video. If that's the um, video we include if somebody buys any parts from us off of eBay. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. Hit that bell down there and um, get future notifications. And also email us at Wayne's Golf Cart Service at gmail.com. The link's down below. I, I screw that up every time. Thank <laughs> you.